Good evening, William. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, my friend? Fine, teacher. And, and you? Man, it's hot. I am suffering. <laughs> it is terribly hot for me today. What about you? What about in your house? How's the weather? ¿Qué tal el clima? Very well. Very well. Este. It's terrible, right? Yeah. Asándome, how do you say it? <laughs> roasting, roasting. Here, roasting. Roasting, yeah, man, I understand you. I do understand you. You're roasting. You. roasting. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible today. And tell me, what did you do today? You're on vacation. What were your activities? Now, uh, at least, este, now reparation, reparating uh, my computer teacher. Oh, really? They fixed yes. it up? Yes. Este. What was the problem? Configuration and clean, limpieza. Okay. So it must have been just uh, drivers. Then I see that one of controladores. I have este, many problems my computer. But now it's okay. Pero ya está bien. That's good. That's great. That's great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, without computer nowadays, we suffer. We sufrimos en ella. Really, really for this class. Yeah. And this is very important. Yes. Okay, what else did you do? ¿Qué más hizo? Drink very coffee. A lot I of love coffee. coffee. A lot of coffee. Oh, really, me too. I love having coffee. Yeah. It's delicious. Good yeah, a good cup of coffee is good. It's, del it's delicious and me relaxing. Yeah, I need I need a cup of coffee right now. The water yeah. is, is is very fast, but este me always drink coffee. Yeah, me too. It doesn't matter how the weather is. I mean I always need my cup of coffee. Yes. I mean, that's, that's essential for me, a cup of coffee. That's essential, mandatory. For me, uh, three coffee all day. Three? Eh. No worry. I usually take around five or seven, between five or seven. Wow. I love drinking coffee. It's not good for my health. I normally me three, three coffee. Yeah, last night I had my last cup of coffee around 11.30 p.m. I had my last cup of coffee. Yeah, I love them coffee. Doesn't matter the time. Hey, let me text your classmates that it's time they should be here. Okay. 
it is. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, having a cup of coffee once in a while is good. For me, the same as you, the same as you, what you said, for me, a cup of coffee is relaxing. Well, me, thank you very you much. Sure. Thank me you very too. much, William. Nice having you in class. Thank you, Karen. Oh, thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Walter! Hello, Walter. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And day very well. Okay, perfect. A very good day. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Tell me, what did you do today? Okay, so. Okay. Uh, in the morning, and uh, uh, fears a good uh, for a new day. Okay. Uh, and I work. Uh, uh, a much work. A and lot today, of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. And today and day. And, and uh, how do you say in the majority, teacher? Most of. And most of. No, uh, look, look in the chat. Most of. Oh. And most. Oh, okay. And the uh, exercise and gym. Really? Yes, uh, and fears uh, a lunch and 10 minutes, 10 minutes uh, lunch. Uh, okay. And 20, 25 uh, exercise and gym. Okay. That's yes, cool. uh, every day. Every That's day. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Monday at uh, Saturday. Excellent. Wow. Yeah. He, he rebajado bastante, he rebajado bastante libros. How do you say? Okay. I have, I have lost. I wait. Have lost weight. Okay, I had lost weight. Oh, really? Um, How much do you uh, weigh? Cuánto pesa? At the moment, um, one hundred uh, sixty uh, sixty-five. One hundred sixty-five. Okay. Yes. How tall are you? What's your height? Excuse me, teacher. How tall are you? How cuánto mide? No, ahorita no. Excuse me, excuse me, no lo escucho. How tall? ¿Qué tan alto? Are you? Ah, okay. How tall? Um, a one meter? No. Metros. One meter. Un metro. I want more uh, uh, 60, 67, 64. Okay. Uh, more, yeah, more. yeah, you should be a little bit lower. Tendría que tener un poquito menos de peso. De, de, de peso. Oh, yeah. Well, well, but no you way. are doing, you are exercising. That's good. Yes, teacher. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Showing the muscles. Excellent, excellent. Well, Walter, thank you. Welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Marta, hello, Marta. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. And you? Okay. Well. It's hot today. <laughs> yes, I know. It's terribly hot. I am it's suffering. Horrible. Yeah, yes. I am suffering because of the heat. I mean, it's terrible. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? 
my day it was a normal day teacher uh, some some calls some cases uh, but all, all okay okay in you awesome. well let me see let me see oh, i have to go downtown san salvador today oh really yeah i have to take my my mother-in-law to the doctor i was driving and i hit my uh my wife's car i hit my wife's car i crashed it oh my god but it was it was a very very thin tiny thing Chiquitito. the problem is that the problem is that i broke her her stop lights. Le quebré el stop. Oh my God, teacher, I'm and so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I am sorry for myself. She was mad because it's her car. Are you insurance? Yeah, but it was a little thing. I mean, uh, it's, it's oh it was easier. It was easier for me just to go buy it. Okay. Sorry, teacher, it's bad day for you. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Just terrible. Sorry, but anyway, yeah, that's the way it is. That's it. Okay. Okay, well, and what about you, Marta? Tell me, what time did you finish working? I finished working uh, around 6 p.m., maybe. Okay, so every day you finish almost the, at the same time, right? Because yesterday you told me at six. Yes, yes, it's, it's, cool. it's normal. It's normal day. That's cool. That's cool. So you are relaxed. You have dinner, shower, yes, and everything. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh well, you are working from home, right? Yes. Yes. It's, so that means that it's you are okay for me. <laughs> yeah, you got comfy clothes, drop at home. Comfort, uh, yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Well, welcome to the class, Martha. Thank you. Thank nice you, teacher. You. No, thanks to you. Let's see, Mr. Daniel. Daniel was here. I saw him. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great, just great. Tell me, what about your day? Yesterday you finished a project. What about today? What did you do? Today? Yeah, today was my mom's birthday. Oh, and really? We spent, yeah, we spent all the day with the family. We. Aprovechar, como se dice? We took advantage. Uh, we took advantage that today we have nothing to work in. Uh, uh, the office camp? Or the I don't know if they were the right yeah. one. At projects. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. And tell me, did you look at this? Did you treat her to something special? Did you treat her to something special? Yeah, that uh, would be like invite. Yeah, we invite her to uh, lunch and okay. we give her a gift. Excellent. That's great. That's great. So she enjoyed her day. Yeah, she was really happy. I can imagine. I can just imagine. Excellent. Congratulations to her. Thanks. And I mean, it's good when you have the time to spend with your with your relatives. Man, birthdays. Let's see. Oopsie, daisy. I just remember. Ouch. I'm in trouble. Let's see. Today is 21st. So that means that. Man, you just remind me of something. Let's see. Yes, this yeah. coming Saturday. This coming Saturday is my son's birthday. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I have forgotten. Yes, I may be Yeah. 
That happens to me regularly. Yeah, me, me in the, well, the, the most near family, I'm not with problem with the birthdays date, but a lot of family I, and friends, I usually don't remember. Yeah, I never do, I mean, like uh, my wife, so I'm not sure. I'm not really sure when it's her birthday. Yeah. The In only my thing case, I my do... wife's birthday, it's five days uh, after, no, before me. So oh, I don't cool. remember. Yeah, I don't forget. I don't forget. Yeah. No, in my wife's case, the only thing I remember is that it's the same day as my mother-in-law. So it's easy oh. to know. Yeah. Well, Daniel, nice talking to you. Welcome to the class. A yeah, pleasure too. Thanks. Thanks to you. Susanna, hello, Susanna. I saw you and then you turned off your camera, Susanna. No, what happened? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Susana? I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Okay. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, it's day. It's a tran tranquilo. Tran Quiet. Calm. You no, calm. 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 Okay. Calm. Um, uh, is is. I went, no, sería, is, eh, estar, stay. Well, I depends. stay in Tell my house. Okay, yes, I stayed in my house. I stay in my house, um, but uh, by home office. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice, that's mm -hmm. nice. What time did you finish working today? Uh, I... Uh, come on. Uh, finish it? Fin I finished it um, I for 4 p.m. But I bought I bought a uh, right uh, tied uh, by my car. Okay. You <laughs> bought the tires for the car. I rear, rear or front? And I don't understand. rear traseras and or, uh, or front in front. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's but that's good. Uh, that's good. Um, is, 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 yeah. But for qué? Sería. Yeah, no, because ah, uh, because because uh, yesterday uh, I yesterday it. Uh, one tired. Uh, uh, oh, you I, got a flat? Yes. <laughs> it's a, flat? a mer explotó. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, exploded. Exploded. Yes. <laughs> uh, don't remind me. I need to buy the tires for my other car. And man, that's gonna be expensive because I want to change the four. But they are big. Eh, yes, uh, I. Is, uh, ya estaba ruina, como rajadita. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. I understand you. To change tires uh, is. But, uh, but they are regular tires. They are not big ones. No, son no it's big, big, it's big tires. Mm -hmm. oh, really? It's a. Uh, eh, Ring, ring, the sixteen. Sixteen. It's a by by uh, trucker, trucker, camioneta. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's a truck. It's a truck. Truck. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, is it an SUV? Yes, a big, as more or less. SUV. Ah, it's when we talk SUV. about S SUV, are the cars? It's what we call a. Uh, Camionetas here, but the ones that are like uh, Ciudad and Campo, those are SUV. Ah, okay. USB. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
I got exactly the same expense coming for me. El mismo gasto se me acerca a mí. I need to change the four. Ah, okay. No, <laughs> only, only two. <laughs> yeah, I have to change the four of them and the same problem. They are big. The same room number, right? Room 16. Yes. Mines are very, very high. So ooh, that's, uh -huh. that happens. That happens. Well, thank you, Susana. Nice talking to you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, hello. Hi, teacher. I saw you. You turn on the camera, then you put the finger and turn it off. <laughs> no, teacher. Yes, we no. did. I saw you. I saw you. So, hello, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. Actually, I'm working. <laughs> Ah, yeah, you just turn on the computer so we could see. No, I, I'm working now because all day I have been in the doctor. At the doctor? At the doctor, yeah, and I don't, I didn't work all day. Oops, that's bad. Yeah, I arrived I mean... at home around 4 p.m. Okay. And since uh, this time I, I start to work. Oh, really? Oh, what time are you gonna finish? I don't know, I think 11 maybe, because tomorrow oh, uh, I need to go to the doctor again and oh. I don't work all day. Again. Again, so I, I want, have a lot of- I want. Things to I want. Want, yeah, will not. I want. Okay, I hope everything is okay with the doctor. I hope so. <laughs> you hope so. That's cool, yeah. that's cool. That's fine. Well, I'll let you keep on working, but are you going to be participating in my class, right? Yeah, teacher. Perfect, cool. Thank you, okay. Roxana. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Janita, how are you? Don't tell me you're working too. Hi, teacher. I work too, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. The same old <laughs> story. El mismo truco. Una lo dice. Yes. I, I was working a lot. I, I need to make something stuff after the class. And today was a busy day for me. Really? Yeah. Okay, and so my what day, time did you start what time did you start working? Uh thirty. Okay. And I I don't finish. <laughs> now I need to do something for okay. finish my day. I am just watching something in the screen that gets me mad. Terribly mad. If she you is looking. She no, is no, no, watching no. memes. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. No, if you could see right now, Walter's curtains, they they are moving. So that means that the, the wind is blowing. Está soplando viento por ahí. Man. I am, I am like uh, William told me a few minutes ago, I am roasting, you know? It's good. Today is it's warm. No, it's hot as hell. <laughs> Today is not warm. It's hot as hell. Man, you know what I gotta do? I think that right now I am I am cooking. I mean I am roasting. Estoy asando. So the only thing that I can do right now is just to turn over so I can roast evenly. Creo que simplemente me dar vuelta para cocinarme evenly. En salvadoreño diríamos parejo. I, I feel the breathing, the devil, the high of me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's yes, it's, it's very hot because my my room was closed. Then it's very, very warm here, oh, like yeah. a farm. I can imagine. You know, but yeah. the good thing is that there's always a... a there's always a cup of coffee to help us with that. Yeah, I have my cup of coffee. Can you see? 
Okay, can you see mine? <laughs> so we are we're in the Bar same uh, we're Barcelona in the same team. Barcelona team. Oh really? That's cool. Let's fight yeah. with Wilfredo. I'm sure Wilfredo goes for the other one. Okay, uh, okay. That's I can cool. show. <laughs> it's very That's hard. Nice. You nice. know. Yes, I know. I know what uh, you know about soccer team. Yeah. yeah of course. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. Well, thank you, Janira. Nice talking to you. Thank you too, teacher. Fernando, hello, my friend. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just arriving at class. Oh, really? Just arriving home? No, at class. Okay, where are you busy today? Uh, no, 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 I'm very I, busy. Oh, yeah. Yes. You You've been very busy today. Yes. Yes, today I, I was very busy. Okay, well, but the good thing is that you are in class. That, that's important, that you got the time, you set the time apart so you can enjoy your class. That's excellent. Yes. Yes. And tell, tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, the usual. The usual. <laughs> the usual. Uh, give also, support. Uh, say, give support, uh, attending meetings. Oh, uh, in my look at Pasa, what happens? What happens? What happens? What happens is in my in my team work. Uh, we have a, a partner that she she, uh, she did legal absence. Oh, because okay, so you have to cover. Why tell yes. me pregnancy? Yes, pregnancy. He's pregnant. Oh man, yeah. He's he's daughter. Uh, oh really? Is there Her a daughter? Born. Her daughter was just born. And was just born. Was just her born. daughter. Her daughter was just born. Yeah, exactly. Her daughter was just born. Man, babies! Wow, they so, are nice. From far away, los bebés son bonitos de lejos. Man, <laughs> the yes. first. I mean, the first. The first. The first year. You forget what sleeping means. El primer año no olvides yeah. es la palabra it's, dormir. It's complicated. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. The, then uh, the activities of hers are uh, her activities. Boss, uh, uh, her activities uh, were dis distributed. Okay, excellent, excellent use of the passive voice, Fernando. Her activities, oh, I will text this sentence to everybody. What he just said is this. Lo que él nos acaba de decir es esto, miren. Her activities were distributed to everybody. Okay. This is what what Fernando just told us. Esto es lo que Fernando nos dijo. Her activities were distributed to everybody. Sus actividades fueron distribuidas entre todos, ¿verdad? Yes, correct. Okay, that's passive voice. Eso es la voz pasiva. When we are talking in passive voice, we are focusing uh, the, the, like, the verb expresses the action, right? El verbo no expresa la acción. And the action is like the most the most important part because it's what's happening, because it's lo que está sucediendo, right? right? So, in this case, the action was to distribute. In este caso, la acción era distribuir. Okay? So, so I have her much activities, work. her activities were distributed. Sus actividades fueron distribuidas. Passive voice, what I'm mentioning this, Fernando, is because passive voice, you know, actually, it wasn't accepted into Spanish until like uh, 20, 15 years ago. Hasta no 20, 25 años atrás, no era parte del español. We didn't used to think that way. No pensábamos así. 
we didn't we didn't used to speak like that i mean it, perhaps it's something that you don't notice it's algo que no, no notamos. in my case mm -hmm. i know it because i mean that's my area the language but that's actually it belongs it belongs uh at the beginning to french and english that way of thinking in spanish we didn't used to speak that way Nosotros no solíamos hablar así. and now we do well that means that you got a lot of work fernando yes <laughs> a lot of work more <laughs> yeah well that happens that happens yeah but i love my work <laughs> thanks to thanks to it i can participate in this class yeah that's that's actually a fact de hecho así es yeah. okay thank you very much fernando and welcome to the class thank you teacher okay let's see who else is around hey amber Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, Ambar, today I'm going to be informal with you. So let's see, let's see, where are you, where are you? Oh, you just moved. Okay, Ambar, I'm going to greet you informally. I want you to answer to me informally, okay? okay. So, what's up, Ambar? It's everything. It's everything good. What about you, okay. bro? Okay, uh, 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 you got to form. <laughs> When I ask you, what's that? What's everything? Or what you're doing? You tell me, mm, you can tell me, no much. Okay, no much. You can tell me, mm, everything cool. You can tell me, here, chilling. Okay? Okay. Because when you get like, what about you? And what about you is formal. You can tell okay. me, hey, how about you? How about you? Yeah, how about you? And I tell you, well, you know, here, same old story. Actually, that expression, same old, it's a bad expression, you know? Because it's same old, it's something bad, okay? Okay. But, but when we want, of course, we are not say, using profane, Como no estamos usando profane vocabulary, instead of saying same old bad things, we say same old story. Okay. Profane is like, uh, bueno, en el buen salvadoreño, como nos tratamos acá. Profane, eh, no es cuando le digo de que la palabra y completar la frase es same old. Termina con una palabra, lo que nosotros decimos una mala palabra. Okay. Ah, okay. That starts okay. With, uh, with these two letters. Que comienza así. Ah. <laughs> so instead of saying same old that, we I say, understand hey, same, the reference. <laughs> same old, sorry, you know. Same old things. Okay. So tell me, how was your day? What did you do? Um, It was a cool day, bro, because I... I could, I could sell a more business, more, oh. more business, or how do you say, concretar yeah, negocios? But, yeah, to make, to make business. Yes, I, I, man, I could make some business. Man, that's cool. That's cool. So <laughs> that means that this month, you're gonna be down with money yes right? of course okay yes. now listen listen to my expression i told you you're gonna be you're gonna be i didn't even say you're i said you're gonna be down that that expression is very informal because we say down, down that means bah. but when we say that you're gonna be down that means that you're going to be like there with money Okay. okay, and I can say, I can use that expression the same, like, man, you know what? I'm down with you. Te apoyo, estoy contigo. You can use that expression also in this, in that same context. I'm down with you is like a... I support you. 
or congratulations or no 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 in this case is uh, yeah could be no and then sería más bien como te apoyo este estoy contigo cuenta okay. conmigo okay puedes contar conmigo solidaridad that's, yeah that's like I'm down with you okay well cool thank you nice thank you teacher thanks to you Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now with Wilfredo, we are going to be very formal. Hello, Mr. Guardado, how are you? Fine, teacher. What about you? How are you? I am just fine, mister. And tell me, please, uh, how was your day? Was there uh -huh. anything interesting happening to you today? Yeah, because we have to do many uh, things. Uh, 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 I am using formal English. Informal English, forget about yeah. Okay, that's informal, um, that's okay. casual. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes, it was okay. Because okay. we can do many things to improve our productivity. In our... We could, we could. We could. Yeah, fast. Okay. And um, we could we could do or we can yeah. no we ah. could do is perfect. I'm okay. Um because we we were working teacher two weeks ago and about uh, finding um new ways to do the process. Okay, to, to improve perhaps to improve to yeah. do or to improve. To improve. Okay, to improve. Okay. Mejorarlos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I tell you, yeah, again. Okay. <laughs> so. uh, I mean, no, that's normal. That happens. That happens. Just that you okay. must be aware, you must be aware that if you are in a formal conversation, that imagine that I'm that I am like uh, the manager of the company. Hey, Wilfredo, are you work? Is everything okay? And you go like, yeah, it is. I mean, that would be informal for him. He would be like, yes, mister, everything is okay. Thanks. You see? So yeah, we must be aware of, of the vocabulary we are using depending on the context. Okay? Of course. Yeah. We, have to, we, have, we have to work in that feature because when, when we are learning in English, I always forgot uh, to, to yeah. use the... the like formal English. Yeah. yeah. But, don't worry, don't worry. According to yeah. actually, according to my plans, and that's something that I wanted to get to. Algo lo que quería llegar es esto. Eh, according to my plans, de acuerdo a mis planificaciones, eh, I, I will be like start like yesterday. I told you that today we started working in a different way. El día de ayer yo les decía de que comenzaba a evaluar algunas cosas que teníamos que mejorar, right? So okay. Uh, there's going to be a couple of days, guys, and this is for everybody. There's going to be a couple of days that we are going to be like pretty formal in the class, okay? Vamos a tener algún par de clases en la cual vamos a ser muy, muy formales. Because I also want you to emphasize the formal vocabulary. Because sometimes, you know, like in the, in the desire of making the class like more interactive and everything, sometimes we teachers forget I mean, we try to make it more comfortable for you. Tratamos de hacerla tan, tan cómoda para ustedes, tan accesibles y agradables, que nos enfocamos en un lenguaje informal. And we forget that this is also English for work. Esto es inglés para el trabajo. And in your job, you are going to also be using formal English. Y también vamos a utilizar inglés formal. Okay? So we are going to be like switching okay. between formal and informal. Some days we are going to be like full formal, okay? Algunos días vamos a estar muy formal. Sure, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you, okay. Wilfredo. It is, it is, teacher. Yeah, tell me, uh, yes. It is interesting, uh, it is interesting, teacher, because sometimes we, we have to show or resolve another people in the company. And then we have to, we have to learn to how to can we be address address 
Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, give me just a second. We have to be sure how to address those situations. Cuando decimos to ad how to address those situations, estamos diciendo cómo enfrentarnos a esas situaciones. Okay. okay. So yeah. we have to learn how to address. Yeah, because I mean, that's part of every day. Es parte del trabajo diario, right? Occupational hazard. Yeah, it is. Well, well so you thank you. Okay. Okay, teacher. Nice talking to you. Thank I'm you sorry, to you. I need to talk to more people here. Let's see. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Go ahead. Jose Osorio. Hello. How are you? I'm cool, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Jose. I remember there's somebody here who's your co-worker, right? Who's your co-worker? Yes, it's Wilfredo. Okay, tell me what Wilfredo said is true. He was busy today. I'm kidding. Uh, no, as I, I, I see him um, um, around around three times at the oh, final really? of the work day. Okay, so you don't you don't work like very close. Is sometimes, sometimes. Okay, uh, and tell me, tell me, what are some of the essential activities you perform in your work? Teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. sorry I'm sorry, yes, sorry. Don't worry. Yes. Two, two years ago, uh, Osorio helped many, many in my case because I I worked in different area, sewing, uh, sewing uh, area, area de costura, oh. sewing, sewing area. And Osorio know, knows so much about method um, process. And okay, so that's his he, area. Sometimes, I'm sorry? Yeah, please continue. Then he knows so much about to, to, to show to another people to um, making correction, uh, making uh, some process to oh, teach excellent. or training another people to, to, to they can go, uh, get knowledge about sewing the area. Process. The area. Okay, that's yeah. cool. So tell me, Mr. Osorio, what were some of the essential activities you did today? Um, I usually start reviewing the staff presence and specifically the, the it's in, in my charge. So you are and like a supervisor. A similar and and because my job position is, is only one in the plant. I, I'm an only person in charge in some really? um, some teaching teaching some some methods of sewing okay. and help helps helps uh, yeah and help uh, a supervisor to make action plans and and uh, another things. Okay, that's great, excellent. Thank you very much, Jose. What you gave me was exactly what I asked you, essential activities. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Guys, I'm so sorry, I forgot the attendance. So, Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez, please say present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Now, uh, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Let's see. Next, uh, Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Excellent. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Great. Edora de Mirno Yola Brito. Here. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Here. 
Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Present, teacher. Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. That's weird. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Wilfredo, say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present, teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present, teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Okay. Let's see, let's continue. Thank you, I'm so sorry guys. My bad that I had forgotten. I got so excited with the speaking part. So let's see, I was with Jose now, Claudia. Hello, Claudia, how are you? I'm well, teacher, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. And tell me, Claudia, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, I had many activities. Okay. I... I Can you please tell me? All day. Okay. Well, yeah. See, I I had three groups. No, four groups. And okay. nine grades, six, section A and B, and ten grades, section A and C. Okay. Wow. So you teach math for nine? Two ten. hours. That's a lot. So you have six hours teaching, six hours class. Um, eight hours. Eight, eight hours. hours. Okay, class, like class hours or clock hours? Class hours. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's better. Right. Uh, listen up, guys. I asked her if, it, if they were class hours or clock hours hours because usually a class hour is from 40 to 45 minutes okay when yes. we're talking about classes a class hour is like 40 or 45 minutes tops what how long are your class hours claudia um 40 minutes 45 40 minutes okay sí, 40 minutes yeah yeah that's, yes that's after average. In the afternoon, after class, I, I send emails. The, the students' academic reports to the mm -hmm. parents. Oh. See, How did I, your students do? I have 42, 42 students. Okay, how did they do? Como les fue? Did they flunk? Mm -hmm. Did they flunk or they approve? No sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero por mitad está. Oh, half. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Half. half. Yes. Okay, well, that happens, you know, that happens. Don't worry, I'm like, like that here in my class in English. You know, well, boy, you're not going to I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. You're doing good. You're doing good. Thank you very much, Claudia. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Look, uh, well, welcome, Maria Luisa. Welcome, Francisco. Welcome, Silvia. Let's see. Today, as I told you yesterday, today is going to be a lot of speaking. Okay. We are going to speak a lot, but you are going to take some notes. Okay. Now, we have the regular activities we do every day and we've been talking about them right all the whole module we have been speaking about 
What do you do at your workplace? What do you do on a regular basis? What are the most common activities you perform, right? I've been asking those questions and you've been telling me like, I know for sure that Fernando gives support, takes support, that Janita is also in the same area. I know that Amber sells, that Daniel is in charge of his whole company, he supervises and everything, okay? And I know that Walter is in the pattern designing area. So I know that you do those activities, but now what I am going to ask you is a little bit, uh, how can I say it? A little bit different, okay? And what do I mean by different? Because we are going to be speaking about the essential. And I asked that question to, to Mr. Osorio, actually, okay? What are the essential activities that he performed in his company? Now, I will divide you in groups of three members. Okay, and you are going to tell your classmates, I'm not talking about the all the activities that you do. You're going to tell your classmates three essential activities. And what do I mean by three essential activities? When we talk about the essential activities we perform, I am talking about the activities that you have to do that are mandatory due to your position. Okay, because I know that you do a lot of things like Amber tells me, oh, well, I have to fulfill my, my sales goals of the month. Okay, that's mandatory for her. That's an essential activity according to her position. Okay, I know that Carlos, uh, something that is essential in his position is to link and supervise some activities related to human resource area, right? That's essential for him, that's mandatory. That's an activity that comes with the position. That's what I want you to explain to your classmates, okay? You will give your classmates three sentences. And as I told you, you are going to be divided in small groups. Some of you are going to be in pairs, some of you are going to be in groups of three, okay? I need you to take notes of the, of the sentences your classmate provides, and I want you to write down your sentences, okay? Let's do it, guys. Let's get in the group. You will have four minutes for this activity. Wait a little thing. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. How do uh, you say planillas? Payroll. payroll. Can you repeat, please? Oh, if you want me, I can text it to you. Payroll. Ah, payroll. Thanks. Yeah, payroll. Don't believe anything sure. Roxana tells you. It's a lie. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't work. <laughs> She no. just waste time. I mean, she's, you, she's playing cards on the computer, you know? Solitaire. Yes, yes. Solitario. Yes, yeah, solitaire. That's what she plays. Like the old school. <laughs> yeah. Come on. What, what did you tell me? I love it. 
And did you remember the other play? I think that bombs uh, is pimp, no, pimp? Was, no. I don't remember. I don't know. It's like a, there um, was there was one of bombs. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's the yeah. old school too. <laughs> yeah, I remember playing that sometimes at midnight around 1997, 98. Yo lo hacía allá por el 97, 98. Yes. I was young at that time. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll leave you to it. Continue, okay. please. Yes. Okay, yes. and what do you do in your, in your workplace? I am a financial coordinator. In financial, have, financial. Financial. Financial coordinator. And we have to prepare uh, all the information about payments to... Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Carlos. All yeah. information, all information, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay. All information related... Okay. No about, related to... Okay. We will prepare all information related to payment to uh, the provider. I'm sorry? Providers. 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 Okay, providers, um, human resource, for example, and all activities um, related to the project. Okay. okay. All activities project related. Project related. Okay. What about you, Silvia? Okay. Uh... Silvia, she doesn't do nothing. You know, she just got to stay on the beach, relaxing all day. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay, one of my responsibilities and uh, one of my goals is to provide an excellent service to our guests. I am in charge of the service. Um, the, the customer, I'm in charge of the customer service and I am in charge of the reception area. So I have to make sure everything goes well and that uh, our guests are happy, they feel good, they feel comfortable, and that they get a really good service. Mm. I am also responsible of their reservations because I have to make sure uh, all the, the reservations are uh, co correct or correct. Correct. Yes, all the reservations are correct and that um, our clients feel, feel satisfied with our service. That's a big responsibility. Yes, that's a big responsibility. Yeah, so I imagine that you have some clients that are very demanding. Yes, there are clients that are very, are very complicated, but that's Hello, you asked for me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Tell I me. have a question. Yes. Um, solo me van a traer agua y me perdí. I'm sorry. Tengo, okay. Tengo the activity dudas is this. Si son actividades. Mis okay. actividades o Essential. No, no, no. Yours, yours. Essential activities you perform. ¿Qué actividades okay. son esenciales okay. para el puesto que usted desempeña? Ok. So, in your okay. case, I mean, it's essential for you to plan classes. That's yes. mandatory. I mean, that's unavoidable. Eso es inevitable. You have to plan classes. Right? Yes. Send eh, reports. Send reports. Exam, look no, for, for, look for resources. Mm -hmm. Buscar recursos, stuff like that. 
Uh -huh. Sí, esa era mi confusión porque... Ok. You need to tell your essential activities to Maria Luisa and Maria Luisa is, give, is going to give you hers. Ok. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Ok. Post spot. Mm -hmm. Ok. Only that. Ok. And you, Susana? Um, my first uh, responsibility is a check, a check and to register for my assistant. Um, um, you have to, to take an exact inventory to give a, to your boss, for example. Okay, to keep. To give, to keep, keep, mantener. En este caso, él tiene que mantener un, invento, un inventario exacto. Keep. Teacher. No, yes. no. Yes. Is... William was talking, told, told us that uh, every day he has to, to make an inventory. Okay. That's why. En este caso, he has to keep um, a daily inventory. Él debe mantener un inventario diario. Right? Okay. Okay. Keep keep this whole inventory. Keep an exact inventory. Okay. Inventory exactly, teacher. An exact inventory. An exact Primero exact. Inventory. Yes. Exact is an adjetivo. El adjetivo en inglés va antes del nombre. And I must, and I must assurance. Teacher, y debo yes. asegurarme. Debo asegurarme. Okay. Perfect. Nice phrase. Qué frase más bonita. Look, I have to make sure. Si se dice. Debo asegurarme. I have to make I have sure. To make I have... sure. I had to make sure that sales of previous day are complete. That that previous day sales are complete. Uh, are complete. And uh, report sales, uh, report sales being, being sent, being sent to the manager. Okay, yes. Hold on. Who had an accident? Who's Frank? Be sure. Yes. Uh, uh, how do you say uh, uh, contractual or como un punto por del contrato? Algo que tiene, digamos que es que se debe cumplir por contrato. How do you say in English? Okay. Hmm. Contrato es eh, agreement. Agreement. En este caso sería agreement. Agreement. Está, está hablando de convenio. Acuerdo. Mm -hmm. So in that case is agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, Teacher, um, and the report says being sent. Send and yes. yes, it's correct. Are sent. Are sent. Are sent. Yes, are sent. Sean enviados. Are, okay, and the report says are sent to the menu. Yes. Okay. Um, in other activities, I have to make sure that we receive the complete file of modeling of the stores. Sales call. Create sales call. Crear código de venta. Uh, and request payment. Request. 
Request. Yes, request. request payment. Oh, that's, those are Maria's activities or yours? My activities. Yeah, whatever. Because we have we have a question. Yeah, tell me. Politica. Politics. How do you say politica? Oh, so policies. We need to... uh -huh, policy. Policy. Uh -huh. Policies. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean? Like a... Uh, uh, Policia seguro. seguro. Hold on, hold on. Solo denme un segundo que el compañero tuvo un pequeño accidente, dice, pero que él está bien, pero el carro se destrozó. Oh. That's a Francisco. Teacher, I can play because today I take a picture for my MBI. <laughs> And raining in the street. And then have a dinner. <laughs> okay. French fries, I imagine. No. Policy, policy is policy. Ah, uh, policy. Vaya, ve, okay. ya ve, María Alejandra. Por, y por, y, y, ¿cómo era la y otra? Policy. No. La okay. política. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is Hold the on. difference, teacher? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Be patient. Oh, I remember the TikTok video when they are talking just about a, El Pájaro. A, no look. Can... Look. Uh -huh. Policies. Esta palabra, policies, también es, es sinónimo de procedures. Procedimientos. Lo que sucede es que nosotros estamos habituados a usar la palabra políticas, pero realmente son procedimientos. Ajá. Lo que nosotros llamamos políticas de la empresa son procedimientos establecidos dentro de la empresa. Okay. O procedimientos propios de la empresa. Okay? And we use the word policies. Pero si usted siente que se confunde o que va a utilizar término, va a utilizar policies y policies en el mismo contexto, entonces puede usar como sinónimo procedures. Imagínese, quisiera decir algo referente a un policía también utilizando esas palabras. No, me picha. I'm well, confused a lot. El, polici el policía me dio la póliza. Okay. Oh, but that's aplicó. easy. That's easy. That's easy. Look, the policeman gave me the gave me the policy, <laughs> and the procedures were applied. You see? Me fundí. <laughs> That's easy, that's nunca, easy. Nunca, oh. nunca pensé llegar a este punto. <laughs> Come on. I try, I try There's... to, to you. Yes. Easy but word. Look. <laughs> yes, but look, the problem is this. Remember, when you feel, when you are not sure about one term, what you can do is practice redundancy. Puede practicar redundancia. That means to explain the word. Si no estamos seguros de la palabra, podemos explicar la palabra. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, thank you. Like, like, do you know what serendipity is? ¿Cómo? Do you know what, what serendipity is? Do you know what? Me, me enredó, teacher. No le serendipity. ¿Qué me está diciendo, teacher? Okay, hold on. I... Escríbamelo, por favor. <laughs> hey, no Serendipity. Serendipity. No me está insultando, ¿verdad? No, of course not. Serendipity is the ability of finding something that you are not looking for. ¿Cómo? Is la, the habilidad ability? De la habilidad de encontrar algo que usted no estaba buscando. Okay. So, I mean, if you are not sure of the word, you can explain it. And in this case, what I said was explicárselo. Okay, like, look, look, Daniel, I am so 
fell up. Estoy tan fell up. That means como cansado, ya aburrido, harto. Somos nosotros, Daniel. I am so fed up of you postponing everything. Esa es una manera de decirlo. Uh -huh. Look, Daniel, I am so fed up of you procrastinating everything. To procrastinate is the same as to postpone. Mm -hmm. So remember, I mean, it's okay to use synonyms. It's not yeah. a problem. No, the problem is that we don't know the words. <laughs> okay, but you will be patient. Eso es como so cuando mi Eso es cuando, como cuando mi teacher nos decía insurrectos y nadie mm. entendía que nos decía desobedientes. Look, I used to call my students inverbes. ¿Cómo? Inverbe. What is the meaning for that? Sin barba. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Daniel. These two ladies didn't let you participate. I am sure. <laughs> No, no, I already participated. Yeah, Daniel is like, man, I better stay quiet. He's like, no, it's good to listen to them. Okay, Daniel, Daniel told me, man, I will play it low key. Cuando usted dice que I will play it low key, es como trataré de pasar desapercibido, me está diciendo. Yeah, it's better. It's safer, Daniel. I recommend that. Okay, guys, 60 seconds and we go to the main room. Okay. Well, fast, cricket. Everybody's coming back in a few minutes. I had a problem. With connection, I imagine. Yes, I had a problem with connection. Acabo de entrar de nuevo a reconectarme. No sé si la misma actividad están haciendo. Yeah, we just finished. We just finished. Acabamos de terminarla. Don't worry. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who's gonna participate. Well, let's see when nobody's coming back. Man, it's terrible. Here in my house is so hot and I can hear thunders far away. I can even see light things. You know, Nicolas, he cannot get into his house because of the rain, it's raining pretty strongly. He's waiting for the, for the rain to subside. What does mean subside, teacher? Okay, um, subside. Do you want the exact meaning in Spanish? Because I am talking about the rain. So he's, he's waiting for the rain to subside. Pero si hablo en español, perdón, que le en español, en español la palabra correcta sería. Subsidio. Él está esperando, Subsidio. No, él está esperando no. por la lluvia, porque la lluvia amaine. When we talk about the rain in Spanish, cuando hablamos de la lluvia en español, rain eh, amaina o arrecia. Oh. Those are the two words, the proper terms. But when I said subside, what I'm telling you is amainar o disminuir. Mm. Okay. 
or another term. It's uh, un término que no quizá no muy conocido, pero en literatura lo encontrarían ustedes. Is to evade. Evade. And evade means exactly calmarse. Pero no, you don't apply it to a person. No se aplica a una persona. Okay. Perhaps to a situation like, like the rain, but not uh, to, to, to a person specifically. So when we get to vocabulary, I mean, it's, uh, sometimes it gets tricky. But let's talk about the essential activities. Let's see who's going to talk. Let's see. Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. You were talking with Carlos. So tell yes. me about what are Carlos' essential activities. Okay. Um, he's in charge of uh, the whole transaction transactions of the company. Okay. Uh, he's a accountant coordinator, so he has to he has to um, like process all the payments to the pro providers pro proveedores. That's yeah, providers. Yes. Yes. To the, the he has to process the payment to the providers. Um, he's also in charge of the payroll. Yes. Okay. That's Perfect. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Okay. Man, who's that new girl? Oh my gosh, that's Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. Do they take a shower? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Maria is so perky, you know, she dressed up. She mm. has a day with her boyfriend, maybe. Yeah. No. It could be. Yeah, look. Do look they at... take a picture for look. my... <laughs> Give you fine. her hair, fine. the makeup. Mm. They are right, they are right. Yeah. A picture, they are right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, really, Maria? That's what you young people call it nowadays? Eso es lo que hoy en día le llaman ustedes. Take it a picture, that's cool. No, oh, that's okay, that's okay. It's really, it's true. I take a picture for my I took, classmate. I took a picture for my classmate um, in Seade. Uh, because hmm. for the pandemic, uh, to post post to, to huh? post. Postpone. 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 And to take, I think, I took. And, <laughs> and I, I have a recuerdo. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> now, tell me, Maria, uh, tell me, please, about Daniel's essential activities. Teacher, maybe I, I remember that uh, check the offer to the client. Or proveedores, I don't know. Providers. Providers and prepare accounting papers and payroll for ease and AFP. And only that. Rip. <laughs> That's uh, Daniel's activities? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, thank you very much, new girl. Let's see now, 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 now. Daniel, tell me about Roxana's activities. Nothing. Hi. hi. Uh, she, their activities were cal calculate commission to the agents, create sales codes, and request payments. Request. Request. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Roxana, please tell me about Maria's activities. Uh, Maria told us that uh, 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 check the case and apply the procedures. And the second, provide the customer service to internal agents. And the three, 
Uh, she pro she approved if the policy have to process or not. So she's like a um, boss. Okay, cool. That's nice. Thank you very much, Roxana. Now let's okay. see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Carlos, did you tell me about Sylvia's activities? Okay, teacher. Uh, Sylvia, it's, uh, she, she has to supervise that these things are satisfied. For example, she, uh, she has a uh, uh, work in a reception area and she stay, uh, she provide a good service to the guest. Um, she help uh, with, with the customers or guests when his reservation are correct. For example, some clients are very difficult, but she, she tried to, they are, uh, feel very good in, in, in that, in that place when, when he arrived at her work. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Claudia, please, would you mind telling me about Maria Luisa's activities? Hello, Claudia. Well, you, Maria Luisa, can you tell me about Claudia's activities? Okay, Claudia activities is a uh, scheduling. Are are scheduling? Scheduling. Okay, to schedule Schedule class. Me. To schedule uh -huh. class. Schedule class. Send reports, exam, notes uh, for email, uh, finding resource, and, and send, send, send emails, students, academics reports. Only, only, only remember. No se escucha la voz. No se le escucha, teacher. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. teacher. Guys, give me just 30 seconds, please. Regálenme 30 segundos nada más. I'll be back in a second.
Okay, so sorry, guys. Let's see, let's see. Next. Uh, Ambar, tell me about Susana's activities. Okay, um, she developed uh, different activities about an administrative job, for example. Okay. Um, sorry, I don't remember very well. Okay, some administrative uh, activities, you said. For example, yes, tell yes. Me, tell me. for example, she, she develop or management the planilla. Payroll? Payroll, payroll, um, IFP is. Okay, perfect. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Susana, tell me about Janira's activities. Um, I don't remember very well, uh, but I, Janira. I ask you to take notes. <laughs> Not teacher, I don't writing, uh, but I only speaking, speaking three, three okay. persons. Uh, I don't remember later. Is uh, she's uh, support the different area. I cumplir metas how do you say cumplir metas teacher you're talking about janira yes to to fulfill goals okay yeah and um, but uh the uh, budget with cash uh, relation uh with cash mm. cash do you do that, Janira? She talked about Amber. Amber. Yeah, I asked you about Janira. <laughs> <Susana. laughs> like oh. that. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, Janira, please. You will tell me about yours and about Amber's, please. Okay. About me. Um, uh, synchronized policies solve problems with the invoice of claim and activate customers in a software about okay. what well, what do you mean by activate customers what does it imply i run i acquire because it's a status the customer has activate or inactive then or Active, active. Active or inactive, then I need to oh. active. No, you need to set, set as active. Well, yes. it depends, it depends, it depends, it depends. When you mean that you need to activate, I mean, the, the does the customer do something in the platform? Uh, yeah. Or you are talking the, about the status. If you are talking just about the status, se está hablando solamente del status, lo que usted hace es set as active or inactive. Uh, yeah, yes, the, the correct is set active because I change the status in a software. By okay. SQL is a, is a software that I use. Okay, so that means that the, the customer is not activated. Like if you activate me into your company software, that means that I can interact, okay? Yes, for example, if you are a customer in the company, if you don't pay your bills, then you pass to inactive. But for make another premise, we need to change the status. Then I set a customer as active for this process. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now tell me about Amber. Amber meets sales goals and he has a, I don't know what we say the correct form. Maybe she has a customer tracking or follow customer. What, okay. what is the correct? A follow up. In, in a, okay. Customers follow up. In a software, CRM. Okay. Uh, the name of software is Hospital. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, Fernando, tell me about Francisco Eduardo's activities. Hey, teacher, I, I review my notes. Uh, Francisco, he is a report to General Direction Customs about the event of last day. For example, anomaly or incident with the operation. Uh, that report, it's mandatory for him. Mandatory, no mandatory, mandatory. Mandatory. Like that, perfect. And he, he handled various operations, indicators, and writing in the shift reports. He handles. Right? Handles. Right, it's handles. a third person. Yeah, he handles. handles. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much, Fernando. Now, for the rest of you guys, when we say that he handles, estamos diciendo que él, he handles different operations. Él trata con distintas operaciones. Actually, the verb handle is to give something in the hand. Específicamente el verbo handle es dar algo en la mano, but when you handle, when you have to handle different situations, es lo mismo que decir, I have to deal with different situations, okay? They are synonyms. Tratar. Sure. Okay? So you can say handle or deal, yeah? Uh, I, I, I saw, I, I see in my company in some places that were, um, say, handling with care. Handle so with you, care. Yeah. Manipulate. Or, yeah. When, when yes. you are making some process about. Yes. Different. And, they are tell, and they are telling you, handle with care. Porque son cosas que usted hace con sus manos. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cuando usted okay. dice manipular, es algo que usted hace con sus manos. Okay. That's why it's yeah. handle. Handle with care. Manipular. It's with your hands. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, uh, 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 Fernando. Now, Francisco, tell me about Mr. Osorio's activities. Teacher. Yes. Oh, only question. Uh, I I hear, um, but uh, proveedores in my company uh, say is supply. Suppliers. Supplier. No, supply. Supplier. Supplier. Suppliers. Suppliers. Yes, you can mm -hmm. you can say it like that. I mean, for example, see. Ah, okay. Okay. I mean. Yes, you can say provider or you can say supplier. That's another way to say it. Supplier, guys, goes like this. Supplier. And there's even another one. Mm -hmm. That is like, y todavía hay otra más. Es como la más, más, más formal. But this is all English. Este es inglés viejo. Lo van a encontrar escrito y no hablado. Purveyor. Proveedor. Purveyor. Okay. You Thank say, you, teacher. You can say purveyor. supplier, provider, or purveyor. Old school teacher. Purveyor. Yeah. Purveyor is old school. I'm old, man. I'm old. I accept it. I'm old. I mean, like, for Maria, that's like, oof. For Sylvia, that's like, oh man, that's old fashioned. 
they are little kiddos, but I am also, for me, I, I heard the word, you can escuch proveyor, supplier, it's very normal. Okay, now let's see. And Francisco, I'm sorry, I need you to tell me about Mr. Osorio's activities. Uh, he told me uh, he provide to improve the method adherence of of your personal in share. His improve his, his uh, sorry his uh, personal in share improve the productivity uh, of his staff and raise okay. the compliance in. The care uh, is mandatory for for, for he. Okay. Nice. Uh, Compliance indicator. Yes. Tell me. Ask me. Uh, uh, in in Spanish, teacher. Uh, for example, nosotros eh, en mi caso llena, eh, decimos eh, yo tengo que llenar la bitácora, pero como en inglés nos no necesariamente se traduce es correcto decir fill o, fill o, es, in. o debe decir right filling vale. ok si son campos en los cuales se debe de complementar información usted dice fill in ok but there yes. we get into something very very interesting Teacher, how do you say bitácora? Ah, oh, I know the word. Hold on. Si sí, conozco la palabra, pero está pensando en something else. No, 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 no. I mean, actually, ouch. Pinnacle. No. The problem is that. We took an English word, bitácora, con V, bitácora, it's in English. With V, and with B, and with B, it's in Spanish. Con V es en, es en inglés, y con B labial es en that's the tackle. Sure, uh, uh, only change the the letter. Yep. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's very complex because yes, now. In lo que le estaba mencionando. Fill in, and we have a problem with these verbs. And let's see, guys, I will explain it for everybody. In English, we have fill in and fill out. Okay. Y en algunas ocasiones, si por ejemplo usted va a la embajada, eh, usted tiene que fill in some information. Se va a dar documentación que le mandan de la embajada o quizá que le mandan de aduana. You have to fill in information, but in English, you also have the expression fill out. Okay. Y ambos significan rellenar cuando nos referimos a datos. Okay. Ahora bien, cuando decimos fill in, Hablamos de campos específicos. Perdonen que se los explique en español, pero si no, no van a tener mucho sentido para ustedes. Si yo digo fill in, me refiero a campos específicos en un formulario. ¿okay? O campos que estén marcados, subrayados. ¿ya? Los que son obligación. Puede ser que hayan otros campos que usted no los necesita llenar. Por ejemplo, me decían de la bitácora. ¿Quién era? Uh, Francisco, right? Okay, Francisco. I'm sorry, I'm going to ask you something. Open your mic, please. Voy a preguntar. Este, 
in that in that in that document that you fill in, in esa bitácora que usted llena, do you fill out all the aspects or just certain specific ones? Uh, specific, uh, specific oh, field. okay. Now, thank you very much. If you listen to me, si me escucharon, I ask him, did you, do you fill out all the aspects or just fill in specific ones? Now, I need you to please look at the sentence I just told you. Okay, perdón que se los... Me interrumpa la otra actividad. But this is very interesting and very important. I asked him this question. Look. Do you feel... Look. Do you feel out all aspects okay or just fill in specific ones now if you see I I got both oops we did see my pregunt I'm so sorry there was a question mark here okay I got Fill out and fill in. Okay. Si se fijan, if you can notice, si podemos notarlo. Okay. When I say, do you fill out all aspects or just fill in specific ones? So when I say fill out, there's a there's a form. Hay una forma, un formulario form that you need to complete everything. I mean, that's fill out. Fill in just specific ones, important ones. Is it clear, guys? See me explain? It? Okay, cool. Yeah, because I mean, believe me, that's something like very tricky because sometimes they tell you, okay, yeah, they give you a form and they tell you, please fill in this information. If they tell you fill in, it means that there's just specific, some that are mandatory. Algunos que son obligatorio. Those are the ones that you fill in. But if they tell you, please fill out this form, that means that you need to give all the information that is asked there. Okay? So tienen que completar toditos los campos si le dicen fill out. Okay, let's continue. So in this group, there was, uh, Francisco was telling me about Mr. Osorio. Mr. Osorio, tell me about Fernando, Fernando's activity. Uh, Fernando told me uh, you have to make sure the same last day are complete and the report is sent to the manager. And he provides support at any give, given time we have to make sure that previous day sales are complete. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, guys, who else has not participated? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Lombard did it, Claudia did it, Daniel did it. Carlos, Silvia, um, Marta, did you participate already? Not teacher. Okay, Marta, tell me about Wilfredo activities, please. Okay, the essential activity are, let me see, Wilfredo. He has to make a, a, a efficiency okay. report. Uh, okay. He has to attend and report. Uh, three activity is he has to check the quality assurance in the process. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Marta. Now, let's see. Wilfredo, tell me about William Rosales' activities. Let's 
see, Wilfredo. Tell me please about William activities. Okay, I'm sorry teacher, but the, the raining is very hard right now. Even Susanna. Okay, okay. Did you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk the, about William's activity. Okay. He told us that the first activity or the, the most important activity in her, his job, it is verify all the, the machines before to start to work. Okay, excellent. And another, it is keep, keep, an, uh, keep an, uh, an exact inventory. Okay, an, keep, keep an, an exact. Inventory. Inventory. Perfect. Perfect. I will text you that in the in the chat, guys. Okay. 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 Keep an exact inventory. Thank you, Wilfredo. Welcome. Now, William, please tell me about Marta's activities. Hello, William. Oh, perhaps he's having problems with the microphone. Okay, guys, now, very important. What are, we, what have been doing, what have we been doing today? Well, mostly we are like, we have spent like the whole class having conversation and talking about the activities, the essential activities we perform according to our, our position, right? Now, the today activities, today goal was for me to check out your structuring of sentences, your command of vocabulary. That's what I've been checking, okay? So I've been checking structures, I've been checking vocabulary, and that's why if you have noticed, uh, we have like, I've been texting like almost every single word that appears, every new word that appears, I've been texting it, texting them to you so you can like get that extra vocabulary. And as far as I could evaluate today, we are good because I mean, there's new vocabulary appearing in the class. That means that you are like doing the extra effort of looking for more information in order to find out extra vocabulary so you can share and participate in perhaps a more exact way. That's excellent. Now, something that you need to work on, and this is because we are going to work also with the manual. Let me share with you something that you are going to be doing for tomorrow, okay? Look, you have to fill in the following forms to the RC company and explain them to a classmate, okay? It says job title, work location, department, reports to, full-time, part-time, essential duties and responsibilities, education and work experience requirements, employee name, employee signature. Okay, now fill in the following forms. In this case, there's some information that perhaps you don't have. That's why it doesn't appear. What are you going to do? You are going to fill in just one area and that area, one side, okay? What you are going to do is this, fill in just one, your information and send to me, but not in the group, privately, okay? So I can check it out. I need that information. I mean, I need your information set there, okay? Something very important. We already know one of those aspects because we were working with essential duties and responsibilities, okay? 
Now, something very important is education and work experience requirements. For some positions, there's a, perhaps a certain level of education required or previous experience required, okay? Due to the specific area. Like imagine, like, uh, let's see, Fernando, Fernando, please tell me. Imagine that uh, a, your company is going to advertise, uh, they're going to open a new vacancy. And it's a person exactly that is going to work side by side with you, fulfilling the same obligations. Okay, what are the education and previous experience requirements? Uh, education, it's preferred, it's preferred they, uh, she or, or he has a bachelor's degree. Okay, in which area? Um, in IT area. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Previous experience? Previous experience, um, it's recommended she or he has experience in in Q, Q quality assurance QN. okay quality assurance for software and knowledge about databases uh, especially oracle databases oh oracle excellent thank you very much now okay. let's see uh, let's see let's see janita what about you imagine that I want to I want to cover your position. You are going on vacation, okay? And I'm going to go in order to be uh, covering for you. So tell me, what are the the requirements for that position? Um, no. Educational and experience. Okay, education. You need a technician or engineer in computer because okay. you need to know some use some software and some language and experience uh, you need to to have a previous work with use transact sql or making inquiries okay. and knows or, or making software or programs. Okay, okay, okay. Now there's a word that I need to check out. Déjeme solo verificar una palabra. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there's one word here that is that is very interesting. Hold on a minute. In some positions, uh, what appears is the 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 uh, instead of saying expert, sometimes you will find this word knowledgeable, knowledgeable. That means expert. No quiere decir con conocimientos. It means expert. Okay. So that means how, somebody how, who's how the, expert. How do you pronounce teacher? No. No bless you. How do I pronounce that word? Oh yeah. <laughs> very very hardly. Okay. It sounds like this, knowledge shape. Knowledge Knowledge shape. Knowledge shape. Knowledge shape. Okay. <laughs> the problem is that perhaps you don't hear me completely. Hold on. I will pronounce it for you. The, the, 
the phonetics is this. Just give me a second because I'm going to pronounce it, but I'm not going to be able to listen to you. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. The pronunciation is knowledgeable. 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 Okay. No. Like that. No. Knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Knowledgeable. That's the, the the pronunciation of that word. It's a little bit weird, but that, that means expert. And I tell you that because if you are looking for information related to, to like a like a a, a, a back and CL, si vemos un anuncio de una de un puesto disponible, you will find some things that work. Knowledgeable, that means expert. No quiere decir que tenga conocimiento de, because usually when we say, oh, somebody with, with knowledge of this area, I mean, not necessarily an expert, not necessarily an expert. But if you see that word, that means expert, okay? Teacher, but I have a question. What is the difference yes. when you use knowledge? Conocimiento. And you say knowledge. Knowledgeable. 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 Like that. Knowledgeable. The other is knowledge. But it's similar, no? Yes, but it's not the same. No. Okay, look, I. I can have knowledge of a situation, but I, it doesn't mean that I'm knowledgeable in the area. Mm, knowledge is in general. Yes, conocimiento. Knowledgeable, mm -hmm. an expert. Mm, an expert. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Maria, what about you? Maria Alejandra, I'm sorry. I got two Marias. Maria Alejandra, <laughs> tell me, what about you? Um, I, I, am, I need to cover your position. Tell me, what is the requirement? I think the person to have um, knowledge for the insurance company to the different uh, rules, I don't know. Areas? Areas were the different areas, and only that because in the market for the insurance, and many people don't have a studies. For example, bachelor or the or masters, uh, when work in commercial area, okay, or sales or. Um, so to, to know to know about the insurance area, uh, it is a must. Uh, it's, it's a like, must. It's yeah. most important because don't people no don't all people not need all or, people not, not all people, people uh, knowledge for these areas and okay. I think, but okay. no, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Carlos, what about you? Let's see, Carlos. Uh, you see, uh, the problem we have right now is that Nicolas wants to get your position because you are going on vacation. And Nicolas says, well, I have some extra time and I want to cover that position, extra money. So tell, what, tell us what are the requirements for your position. Carlos, your microphone. Okay. Sorry. Okay, teacher. Uh, usually, my position requires a um, university degree in public accounting. Um, um, preferably, I don't know how do you say preferiblemente. Reference. Okay. Reference, master in finance um, or financial administrations. Um, they he has to okay, have a, I'm sorry. Master okay. in finance prefer. Okay. Master in finance prefer. Um, 
soli knowledge of tax and commercial law 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 labor and labor and legislation um knowledge in english okay <laughs> intermediate legal um, okay <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. An okay. intermediate level of English. Okay. Okay, yeah. Well, you have to do, you have to, you have to yeah. struggle a little bit more. Okay, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, so this is what you are going to do. Is is it clear what the activity for tomorrow is? Okay, perfect, because uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm letting you know beforehand, part of what I'm going to do tomorrow is to start asking some of you. Like, I will be reading the information and you will be telling me, okay? I will be reading the, the, the questions or the requirements from the form. And you will be answering to me fast. Tomorrow we are going to work with speed, okay? So remember, what am I talking about? De que estoy hablando? I'm talking about of your activity on page number. Oh, 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 sorry, the activity on. Man, I'm sorry, I just lost it. Perdón que se me perdió. That's a problem with age. Okay, page number thirty-one, exercise one. Who raised your hand, Fernando? Just tell me. Uh, a question about the form. Yes. Uh, full full time and part time is it mean uh, all day or full time? Yes, all day. Part time, just half a day or per some hours. Okay, uh, we can choose one. Yeah. The chat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I need to get the attendance. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I need everybody to be ready to give me the attendance. Just give me a second. Even if you are eat, if you're eating French fries, you need to give me the attendance. So let's see. Okay, here we go. And Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ambar. Carlos Antonio Morillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. And Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher, present. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh, you are not Maria Alejandra, you are the new one. Maria Luisa Morales de Corpeña. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. <coughs> A little bit wet, but here. Un poquito mojadito, pero por acá dice. Excellent. Thank you, Nicolás. Okay, Roxana thank you. Ivet Asensio de Mejia. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Corneja. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Méndez Aguilar. Méndez Aguilar. And Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest. Have a good See night. Tomorrow, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, let's see.
Okay, Francisco, hello, my friend, how are you? Today you are at home. Yes, teacher. Uh, Rested I, or a little bit tired? Uh, a little bit tired uh, because uh, I finished the, the night shift and uh, I uh, for night. For night uh, Okay, look, I just listened to you a little bit. Escucho bien bajito, but what you mean is this. Four nights on a row. On a, uh, como decir de una sola vez. Oh, sí, on a row. Al, en salvadoreño decimos al hilo. Al hilo. <laughs> That's yes, on a row. Yes, eh, en, I, I siempre tengo problemas con la palabra esta de actually. Actually, actually. Es realmente. Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, eh, eh, our seven, seven days eh, of after oh, really? after or night. Ouch. Four nights and is heavy. Now, yes. <laughs> Today and tomorrow is are my day off. Okay. So Friday, no. Today, yeah, Friday you go back to work. Yes, Friday they, is the, but they shift. Yes, uh, I change the shift. Uh, I I start in the morning shift. Okay, that's cool. Yes, it's true. Okay, let me see. Well, let me uh, tell you a little bit. And according to my to my notes, I've been checking out that uh, I can feel there's more like confidence in your speaking. Uh, lo escucho más seguro cuando me participa. And I, I want to congratulate you because I mean, you are you are doing a big effort to participate, even though sometimes you are working. And let's see, besides that, I have also seen an improvement in vocabulary. What are you doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo para mejorar en esa área? Uh, I, I view, I, sorry, I watch, uh, uh, English uh, video, video. Uh, okay. And you watch uh, in, in, in YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. I watch the Korean series. <laughs> okay. And in I. Uh, I, wa uh, I uh, watch a video um, uh, for improve the, the listen and improve the, the, the speak fast. Okay. okay. To get, in that case, is like this look, to get more. Fluency. To get more fluent, or to get to become more fluent. Now, is there a specific area that you would like me to help you? Hay un área en específico que le gustaría que le ayudase, o algún tema. And to create sentence and the and the cover of the of the word. Okay, you mean structuring. Yes. Okay, well, 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 well. What can we do? Let me just check on something.
because right now I am like in the platform server C going to buy your calendar and the platform other in this corporative. Yes. I cannot hear you, my friend. Casi no le escucho. Teacher, here is rain very, very okay. hard or very strong. Uh, both, you... both, both. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's do something. Le voy a mostrar, le voy a mostrar una información para que se pueda ver. Okay. You got this. Eh, tiene esto, ¿verdad? Que es el yes, curso. Teacher. Ok, now. Ve acá. Centro de ayuda. Esta es la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Ok. Centro de ayuda. En centro de ayuda. Se viene acá abajo. Ok. Y se viene usted acá abajo donde dice recursos académicos. ¿Lo puede ver? Grammar. Acá usted encuentra Basic Grammar Presentations. The present of be, imperatives, adjectives, modifiers, the future will be going to, the past of be, the simple present, adverse of frequency, the present progressive, Count and non count, the simple past, there is and there are. Okay. You see? There you can find a lot of information, and there you can access, you can, through the platform, access uh, explanations of a specific grammar points and structures. Creo que ahí encontraría muchos recursos que le podría ser útil. No se le olvida. You want me to show it again to you? Le muestro el camino nuevo. Hey, sorry, teacher. Do you want me to, sh to show you again the path? Le muestro el camino de nuevo o, o no se le olvida. I, I remember, teacher. I remember. Okay. Thanks. Okay, perfect. There you can find information. And if there's something that you do not understand, y si hay algo que aún así no le quedó claro, just let me know. And I will help you. Yo le voy a ayudar. Yo le envío la información. Okay? I mean, okay, teacher. Okay. Now, something that I need you to be clear about it is this. Algo que quiero que esté claro es esto. Okay. Remember, if you get into the grammar, si usted se mete la gramática, you need next to it, o sea, le va a agregar Algo más a lo que ya está haciendo, que es agarrando vocabulario por medio de los videos. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque si usted se va solo por el camino de la gramática, va a aprender a estructurar perfectamente. Pero necesitamos el vocabulario para que complemente. Por eso, la idea primero, la idea primero es tener el vocabulario y cuando ya tenemos una base de vocabulario, nos metemos a la gramática porque eso nos permite, al juntar ambas cosas, El idioma se abre, okay? You'll be able to use, uh, I mean, if you know more vocabulary, you'll be able to express yourself in a better way through grammar and by using the proper words. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's let's do that and check them out. And if there is any question, you know, you can reach me anytime. Si hay alguna pregunta, ya sabe, contáctame en cualquier momento. Ok, teacher. A pleasure, Francisco. Have a good night. Is, was there anything else? ¿Había algo más? Uh, for the moment, uh, only that, teacher. Ok. If posiblemente tengo un par de espacios por ahí, eh, le aviso. If we can, like, share more. Ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Ok. Perfecto. Have a good night, Francisco. Good night, oh, teacher. Thanks to you. Have a good one. Rest. Okay, and that was today's class. So let's finish.